tie game, four seconds in overtime. Got to play it out. There's the corner. House forces it up. Follow, yes! Will it count? It will. There's the official word. AM knocks off Kentucky. Boy, what an evening. What a game. Well, it was a tough day for teams at the top. Here you see the ranked teams to lose on Saturday. West Virginia, no shame in losing to the number three team, nor Miami to North Carolina, although they would like to have not lost by as many points. There's Kentucky and several others going down, all the way down to Texas. This has been a theme we've been seeing week to week. Crazy at the top. For more on College Hoops, we're happy to welcome in C.L. Brown, ESPN.com, college basketball reporter. Let's start at the top, C.L., because we could go anywhere on college basketball right now. We'll start at the top of the ACC. We saw North Carolina able to bounce back after the loss to Duke at home and take care of Miami. How firm is their grasp of the conference right now? I wouldn't say it's a, stroke, uh, a stranglehold, but they've still got a grip, which at this point in the season, that's all you can ask for. And they had to win against Miami. Maybe not, no one expected them to win the way that they did, but they had to come out because that Duke loss was so deflating for them. Uh, Roy Williams only showed them a couple of highlights from that game. They didn't even do the normal procedure. <laughs> We're done here. Game. Move along. <laughs> exactly. So uh, I, I think that moving forward, hopefully for, for the Tar Heels, they continue to shoot as well as they do from the outside, as they did from the outside in that Miami game. That will bode well. As we saw by the standings, the margin for error is very slim. A lot of big games coming down the pike here, including in the Big East. Top two teams in that conference will meet Wednesday in Cincinnati. What are the ramifications of Villanova's visit to Xavier? I think it's, it's more important for Xavier to play well. Villanova right now, I believe that the NCAA is really their prize. They've been through yeah. the, winning the Big East Conference the last two years since uh, they revamped to 10 teams. Uh, but Xavier lost by 31 in the first meeting. And Edmund Sumner, their, their star freshman, was lost in the two, first two minutes of that game with, the, with took a serious fall. So they want a bit of redemption. And they, they got the first revenge tour out of the way yesterday when they beat Georgetown. Georgetown was the only team to beat Xavier uh, in Cincinnati. So they get their shot at Villanova on Wednesday. Joe Lenardi right now, Villanova, as you would expect, number one team in the country, a number one seed. Xavier comes in as a two as we look at the top four in the Big East. This conference has been uh, at least mildly surprising with the quality at the top. I think so. I think. Uh, Villanova, as we said, you know, coming in, they were going to be kind of the team to beat, and no, no one has knocked them off that perch. I think Providence is, is one of the biggest surprises. Uh, everyone knew Chris Dunwood was capable of having this kind of season, but Ben Bentle being their leading scorer, he just kind of came out of nowhere to, for people outside of Providence, he came out of nowhere to have this kind of season. A tremendous revelation. The Villanova were a one seed last year. They, they didn't make it out up to the second weekend. Uh, Kentucky, we saw the highlight. They were surging. Lost to AM on Saturday. Wildcats still lead the SEC, but what does this loss to AM do for them? Well, it, it still brings them back to the pack a little, but I think in the bigger picture, it really doesn't do anything. John Calipari had a, a couple of tweets uh, after, or, or shortly this afternoon, uh, and one of his statements was uh, he really feels good about this game because the kids fought, was, was what he said. So. Um, I think they still have to shore up some things in the front court. They oh, yeah. allow way too many offensive rebounds. I think it was 20 rebounds total, so yes. it was really an incredible 22 number. 22 second chance points for a Texas fan yesterday. So they need to shore that up. Alex Poitras is still out right now, but um, they're still, they, they're on the uptick, I would say, even despite that loss yesterday. Number four, hey, look at the road ahead here. Yeah, you got a couple home games, a couple on the road, but there'll be some hungry teams, certainly in the case of Vanderbilt and, and LSU, looking for a nice impression along the way. C.L. Brown joining us here on Sports Center, talking, well, March Madness, we're almost there. Much more here on Sports Center. What a race, what a moment as we get the Daytona.